This is one of the most revered wine regions in the world. The climate, the soil, and the fruit it produces is the perfect combination of elements in making this land the birthplace of premium wine in California. This is Sonoma County. But to understand what makes this region and its wine so special, we must fully understand its past. One of the things that really <clears throat> drives Sonoma County is uh, events that happened many, many millions of years ago when the Farallon Plate hit against the North American Plate and kind of had the two push once, one against the other. And we're running against a pretty big fault line here, the San Andreas Fault. What this has created is a whole series of different volcanic soils, but also it has uplifted some ancient marine sedimentary soils. It's created a, 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 about four feet of wonderful soil bed and rocks, and extremely well-drained. And grapevines love well-drained soil. They love to spread their roots. It creates balanced vines, it creates balanced uh, yields, and it creates balanced chemistry in the wine as well. Today, the unique topography and soils are influenced by 60 miles of Pacific coastline. This unparalleled combination of climates creates an array of distinct wine producing areas within Sonoma County. In fact, there are 15 different wine regions within the 1800 square mile stretch of land. All of the major grape varieties are grown here, and that's directly related to the unique microclimates of the region. This place right here is uh, where we're standing is at the very edge of the Petaluma Gap. In fact, right behind us is Sonoma Mountain. And so all this cool air coming from the Pacific Ocean and the only place, the Petaluma Gap, where that Pacific air can come in, kind of piles up right against the side of the mountain right behind us and makes this kind of like a cool refrigerated area. And, and sometimes the fog just is hanging right on the edge of the vineyard, but we're in full sunshine, so it's like having a refrigerator with sun. It's really cool. But you know, we're fortunate though we do have parts of you know the county where we can grow warmer varieties. So you know that's all a function of this geological impact that we're so fortunate here in Sonoma County to be able to do so many different varieties and do them so well. But the richness of this land isn't only found in the soil. Sonoma County is steeped in history. With over 1,500 vineyard owners and 600 wineries, the region is anchored by family-owned and operated businesses dating as far back as the 1800s, when wine was first produced here. Many of the Russian traders and Spanish missionaries that settled here in the early 1800s, um, not only were they looking for a better life and a better way, but they also brought grape growing and winemaking to the region. And later on in the late 1800s, the Italians settled here and, and of course, uh, started their small farms and grew grapes and made wine. My family settled in the Dry Creek Valley area of Sonoma County in 1972. My dad was the first winemaker here after Prohibition. And not only was he the first winemaker, but we were the first to plant grapes after Prohibition. Um, you have many family wineries still owned by the same family, second, third, and fourth generation, still farming the land. And these multi-generational families continue to really be passionate about farming. And that's what's so unique about Sonoma County. And with every generation comes a new way of thinking, a new way of getting award-winning wine from the vineyard to the glass. With each passing year, more and more people come to recognize the region's place as a global wine leader, a true testament to the innovators who believe quality is something that can never be sacrificed. Technology is a great tool that you can use in winemaking. I, I think um, what I've tried to do over the years is take technology and apply it to those old world techniques to not necessarily get me to the finish line sooner, but more efficiently. Here at Williamstown, we have incorporated a way of moving the wine around where it's always done by get gravity or by gas. So we don't use pumps ever. The pumping is always something that has accelerated the operation at other wineries and in Sonoma County um, I've worked here for over 25 years. Every place I've worked at it hasn't been about the quantity that we were trying to make it was about the quality we were all trying to achieve. Sonoma County is a place where the discovery of its wines, food, and people make up the flavor of this dynamic corner of the world. From a winemaking perspective, the wines have bright acidity and a crispness and a freshness and a complexity that pairs so well with food, which is what makes them truly 
uh, food wines and that whole concept of farm to table is just a part of what we do. This is a community of artisans who have honed their crafts here and are committed to producing the best wines possible from their vineyard or winery. The families and their willingness to work together, have a sense of community, is really what makes this place, Sonoma County, so special. There's tons of people who are, are not afraid to take risks and share what they find with their neighbors. And it's a, um, it's a partnership that's it's very unique. I think it's different than among any industry you'd find. They care about the craft of making wine, but they care about the future of Sonoma County, and they know that it's rooted in winemaking, and we benefit when we help each other. We've always had that philosophy. It seems to be a general philosophy within the community is let's get it done right, let's work together, and let's try to make the best wine we can. The adventure starts here. Log on to wearesonomacounty.com.